So the fundamental drivers of population growth and more importantly middle class growth and sustainability are increasing demand for rubber products. Today, global rubber demand is estimated about 26 million tons per year. Tire accounts for 70% of that demand and is by far the biggest single end use. The remaining 30% comes up in a variety of applications such as seals and hoses in cars, insulation of electric cables, roofing and building construction, and many, many, many others. Going forward, global rubber consumption is expected to grow by nearly 4% per year, well above GDP. Synthetic rubber represents more than half of that total demand and is expected to grow faster than natural rubber. <coughs> But despite this positive upswing in demand, it is not easy to succeed in the rubber industry. It is important to remember that the 4% annual growth is an average calculated over long periods of time. And so some years we'll see much less growth than others. In addition, and as we know, the profitability of rubber producers depends on a host of global and regional variables, including industry supply demand, cost of feedstocks, and price of natural rubber. And then there are advances in technology and the possibility of increased future regulations that can also impact the business. So how do we, in the rubber industry, sustain our advantage in these dynamic conditions? And what are the essential tools for success. Now, more than ever, it means innovation along the value chain. For us as producers, it means relentless focus on advantage feed and increased energy and environmental efficiency in our own operations. And with the other stakeholders in the value chain, it means working closely together to develop products <coughs> that create additional value and enhance sustainability. 